appreciate that. <laughs> but who will rock the ring here at the wrestling? Will it be France? Will it be Russia? El Arak, he is the man in red. His Russian foe, Ugaev, under pressure. A bit of a, a right hook there. The referee wise to it. A nice show of etiquette after you slam them. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, dude. It's cool. It's cool. You hit me in the head, of course. Until the next time. Yeah, El Urak has been a uh, competitor at the World Championships three different occasions, was 10th in Las Vegas in 2015. Does have success here at the European Championships. He won a bronze medal in 2014. Good display of dynamic wrestling there by Uguyev of Russia, the 22-year-old. 2-0 lead. Now shelts the leg. Drives forward, gonna look for gut, the gut wrench. Starts in bounds, looks like he's got exposure to me. Two from the referee, two from the chair confirmed. A 4-0 lead for Zohar Uguyev of the Russian Federation. Yep, the referees agreeing with you. Of course, there's a, a center referee, there's a Matt chairman as well that can, any sort of confrontation, they can overrule, is that correct? Well, you have three officials. You have the, the referee who is in the center of the mat. You see him on your screen now. Then across, right behind him, from our vantage point here at center mat, is the judge. Then the mat chairman, who is usually the senior official on the mat. So two of the three calls have to agree. Sometimes if there's a questionable call, you'll see the official throw up two. And the chairman will be like, no, I think that was not a takedown. He'll wipe paddle, then it's, or the judge. Now it's on the chairman to make the decision. Sometimes if they don't all agree, the, ref the coaches will throw a red or blue brick in. They will challenge a call. Then a jury of appeal will look at the video to determine the situation. And determining that situation at the moment, UGF has that four-point gap. But in terms of throwing up the points, they've got little wristbands, don't they, the, the centre referee? Red or blue, they indicate the points. Absolutely, that's, as you see, red and green on the scoreboard. Singlets have to have a red and green situation, so that's how they tell the fans here in the arena what points they're scoring. Uh, being a, a guy that grew up fishing, I always wondered why red was not on the right, because you're red right return when you're fishing. <laughs> but uh, red is on the left, and, and you see that everywhere. So I'm, I never quite understood it, but that's just how it is. Well, looking for the big catch here of the bronze medal. That was nice. I already mentioned sashimi earlier. Yeah, I was fishing for compliments there, but anyway, Ugaev has four to the good. El Uarak, you mentioned that pedigree coming in, that experience at the World Championships. It hasn't paid off for him at the moment. And Ugaev, a very squat and quick wrestler, presents a small target, keeps his elbows in nice and close, compact, and more than useful on the scoreboard at the moment for the Russian. Now, Uguyev coming off a victory at the Uregan, probably the toughest tournament in the world that is in a continental or world championship. I mean, it's also in Russia. Yes, in a very cold part of Russia. Krasnoyarsk. I'll give you a dollar if you can spell that. Well, I'll try and escape from Krasnoyarsk if I can from that one. I'll, I'll do a little spelling bee with you later, but. Putting a bit of a beat down so far, Ugaev. And it spells trouble for El Urak at the moment. Not an insurmountable lead for the young Frenchman, but a tough one. And Ugaev, he's such a hard wrestler to even get a hold of. Yeah, he's this this guy's just a pack of dynamite, packed into a five foot three frame, I think. He's not very tall, but uh, you and the Uregan. You're one of the best in the world, and this is the guy they, they brought most of their Eurigan champs here to the Europeans. Because again, the way the qualifying system works at the World Championships, unlike the Olympics, where the Olympics has a quota, a set cap on athletes per nation, per sport, etc. So uh, the World Championships, all you have to do is wrestle in the Continentals to qualify your country. So there you see Goyev driving the double, getting a one-point push out, extending his lead to 5-0. So by merely competing, France and Russia here. They can enter wrestler at the World Championships coming up later in August this year in Paris, France. In Paris. C'est ça. Avec class at the moment for Ugaev, as you said, making sure that their nations will be represented at the World Championships, but who will be represented on the podium here at the moment? It's been Ugaev. Real aggressive start, and in any fight, any combat situation, you have to dismiss your opponent and just go for your strategy. And it's been the Russian that's done that so far. So here, El Warak has been just a little bit caught in between. And it's
just been the timing of the Russian that's paid dividends as we reach into the last couple of minutes and this one a good hold again. Yeah, good short offense series here. And as we mentioned, uh, Paris, information on the World Championships coming to Paris August 21st through 26th at ParisLoot2017.com. So there you go. They, I know that uh, their crew is here, ready for the fans from all around the world to come to Paris. And I know it'll be uh, a great time in August in Absolutely. Paris. Yep. It's a beautiful city, but who's going to go with the beautiful bronze? At the end of this one, Maldugayev is just bossing the occasion here, walking around, taking his time, maybe a little bit too much time, the referee telling him to get on with it. Yeah, he's on the clock now, too. And working on that sweep single is El Ularak. And now, good man, oh, wow, he looked like he was out to me, but again, we're, we're upstairs versus my broadcast perch that I'll have tomorrow for the quarters and semis. Picking up some of the better matches on Matt B throughout the course of this weekend. But uh, there's going to be a point for El Ularak on the passivity. Now looking foot sweep with that overtie. Dangerous situation to be in. Who's going to get O here? On the heads, tips around, spins around. Two blue, and the French are going to challenge. Well, lots going on there in that one. We saw Ugaev. He had one leg up, he was in lots of trouble, extricated himself from that, then got pushed out for that point. Yeah, and it was El Ularak's attack, so that's one thing you got to remember, too, is it's, it's not always the counter that's going to get the point. Who put himself in that position? Who created the opportunity to score? Who put themselves at risk to score? So we'll wait to see what the review is here, and this is a tough one because we're waiting to see what Ugayev does, and you can't see the big screen. I don't know, it's the push out first, how are they going to score? I honestly have no idea how they're going to score it because uh, my professional opinion here is uh, worth zero. Well, they're going to keep the score on the mat as it is. One point goes to Gugliev of Russia for the lost challenge. So if you lose a challenge, your opponent will receive a point. Arm spin attempt, counter around by El Urak. Under a minute to go. A lot of collar ties, and this is a situation with you, you got seven points to make up. You're going to have to score some big ones quickly or get in a flurry. You're looking maybe for you get a takedown. You can keep that leg lace in and boom, 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 or look for a trap arm gut, but you got to score it first, and uh, Ugoyev is not letting that happen as he's in on the leg, now trying to push the action toward the edge and score points of his own. Oh, whoa, is he going to get hit for a caution there? Oof. Because it looked like he jumped out of bounds to me. I would have went with you on that one, but the referee going with a single push-out point and pushing towards now that bronze medal. Ugaev, El Uarak gave it absolutely everything that he had, but the Russian, the redoubtable strength of this fantastic wrestler here, he's produced it, he's defended when he had to, attacked with real pace at the start of both rounds, may give up a point here at the end, probably couldn't care less. Good attempt from El Uarak on the buzzer, doesn't score, and it's a fantastic bronze medal there. He had to earn that one, though. Zavar Ugaev of Russia was pushed all the way by Zohir El Ouarak, the Frenchman. But in the end, the 22-year-old from Russia, to the consternation of the French coach, he emerges the winner. Lots of great wrestling, though. Yeah, his first uh, senior level medal at a Continental Championship. He had a couple of world championships as a cadet wow. at 42 kilos and 46 kilos. Now he's in a man's weight. And what age group is cadets? That is your 15 and 16 year old. Right, so the very youngsters now, he's climbed up into the senior division, and this is how he grabbed that excellent bronze medal. See, I'm forcing the action. You know what? I, I... Did they both avoid there? There was no exposure from either. I I want to know, see, how did they score that? Was that 